What is up guys? It is Raw Vegan Dude and welcome back to the channel. Today I have quite a salty topic for you guys. So let's get into that. I'm going to be talking about the consumption of organic versus inorganic salt. So let's go. There are many raw vegans out there that consume a lot of inorganic salt, also known as sodium. Well, if you're getting more scientific about it. It is definitely a not a good thing to be consuming inorganic sodium, and I'm going to explain. So what do I mean by organic sodium versus inorganic sodium? So if we have a look behind me, here is an example of organic sodium. So I have this beautiful papaya plant. I can actually see quite a few that I need to pick. So that's what I'll be doing after this video. So yes, so this papaya plant takes all that inorganic mineral from the soil and pulls it up into its stem, into its leaves, into its branches and into the magnificent sweet fruit. So it takes that inorganic sodium and makes it organic through the fruit that we consume, which is perfectly designed to be absorbed by our bodies. So that is organic sodium. It is found in the fruit and leafy greens that we eat. Inorganic sodium, what exactly is it? It is a mineral that is mined directly from under the ground or on top of the ground. So we have these trace minerals that our bodies need. But you don't see me going up and grinding up a cent coin for the copper in it or the iron in it, which our body needs. You would think I'm totally crazy if I did that. But what people are doing with inorganic sodium is that they are literally doing that. Pink Himalayan salt, for example, is being mined from the ground. It is a rock. You could literally kill somebody with it. You've seen the sizes that they come in before they're actually broken up into the small granules that people buy. People are actually eating ground up rock. And that is crazy once I explain it like that. In this video, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the negative effects of eating this type of inorganic sodium in your diet. And trust me, if you are a raw vegan or if you even consume a normal diet, cut out salt and go back to it after about a month or so. And once you eat it, you're going to definitely feel its negative effects. Not only is inorganic salt super dehydrating to the body, but it is also very addictive. It really does bastardize one's taste buds. So what to take from this video? Stop consuming inorganic salt. It will only do you harm in the long run. And yeah, stick to your beautiful organic salts, sodium that is produced by our fruiting plants and trees and our soft tender leafy greens. If you guys do enjoy watching my videos, please hit a like, please subscribe, and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe you have a conflicting opinion. And yeah, just let me know below and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.